So the solar industry is supposed to be so green and clean, but solar panels have been thrown out left, right and center. They work perfectly fine, have high efficiency. These six babies are 44 volts each. Come from a retrofit, in other words, destined for the tip or just to lay around forever, never to be recycled, of course, because that's inefficient. So wired together, make about 260 volts in series. So basically, these cost nothing, zero, nothing at all. Just a bit of wire on the back to stick them back together. And I'm gonna show you a little hack or a little loophole. In other words, you can run appliances direct off these things. Works out to be about a thousand watts added up and you can run brush motors or elements straight from the sun, no inverter, no batteries. So a little experiment I've been doing with some surprisingly fun results. I'm gonna show you what appliances they can run and how well. Let's run a few appliances. Now something to keep in mind, DC switching issues, because it's running at such high voltage, so it has 260 volts DC running through that lead, which comes from the solar panels and runs up here into this fine, perfectly legal and safe wiring here without a fuse going to the power board. Because it's such high voltage direct current, there is issues with switching, which can be easily resolved. But if we put this heater in, which is running off 750 watts currently, you can see the little, oh, the light ain't working, but that's producing heat. That's producing lots of heat. Jigsaw. Little sander. A saw that runs off 2,000 watts, roughly, I think. Yeah, 2,300 watts. A bit of a slow start, but it gets there in the end. Vacuum cleaner. For sucking out things from my router. Router spindle, 850 watts. Plenty of power there. And much more. In fact, you can run heaters, electric hot plates, any brush motor, hot water services, most appliances that draw all the power without an inverter and without batteries. If you run a direct from the sun, it's very bright to get through right. So, a little loophole if you are running off grid. So, storage, heat. In fact, a very high percentage of appliances that draw the most current. Kettles as well. So, a little idea for the future. It's just a bit confusing because we're throwing all this stuff out. It's in the scrap heap. I can collect as many of these as I want all across the city of Melbourne. They're everywhere. They just go to their grave. Could make a field, a field, a little power station for nothing. Oh, a bit of wiring anyway. So just these ideas. There's advanced ideas as well, like storing heat in sand, getting it all the way up to 800 degrees. So you get to have highly condensed systems like this water service. You store a lot of heat in a very small amount of space. So I would argue there are more efficient ways to doing this, riding off the back of that essentially. So we're throwing out energy. We're meant to save it. Everything's meant to be green, but it ain't. It's going to the scrap heap.